visit Tonitin homepage, tonitin.com. Then you click on login. Yeah, from this page, remember that you do you have problem with the password. Maybe be error like uh, your password I mean, is expired, or you can't even remember your password. So you have to scroll in here. I'm scrolling there. You see, forgotten your password because what we're trying to do now is to reset the password that uh, we can't remember or it has expired. So you click on forgotten password, then you click here. You can see I'm hovering my cursor. So just done that. And now you type the email that was used to create your profile. So don't forget that email. It's not just your email, the email that was used to create your user profile. So you typed it. I have my own here. If you don't have your own there, you type it here. Then you click on next. So a mail, after verifying that um, my email is uh, authentic and is assisting on Tornitin database, a mail has been sent to my email box. So you check your inbox. You may also have to check your spam folder if you can't find that mail in your inbox. Please don't forget, look for it in your inbox. In case it's not there, try to check your spam folder. So I go to my email. So this is my email and already is there. Turn it in, no reply. And you can see it came in at the time, just about this time now, 9.55. So I click on the mail. And from the email to reset your Tonitin password, please click here, click here. You can see I'm hovering my cursor over it. So I'm clicking on this. Now I'm to reset my password, but with following, you know, condition must be met. It must be 12 characters, include at least one number, include upper and lower case letters, include at least one special character. So I'm going for 12 words that include all this um, condition that has been required for. So let me do that now. So I'm entering a password based on this condition. So I want I need to confirm it to be sure that I know what I'm entering. So confirm password. So I click on next. Okay, this shows that the two Character, the two password that I've entered is the same. So for security reason, except it, the, 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 the system is, um, you know, exclusively belong to you. Nobody has access to it, but if not, just say no, thanks. Don't update your password. The reason why this is, this is I mean, being prompted is because I've saved my password before so that I won't have to be re-entering it each time I want to log in. I did that because this system is purely mine. Access to this system is limited, so I know it's secure. Please be careful with what you do here. So for the purpose of this uh, short video, no thanks. That's what I'm picking. So I now click on Login. Then I'm back on Tonitin Login page. So now I have my email there. The password here is the one that was there before before I change it. So let's try if, let me see what happens. Let me click on login. So I have my error. So let me enter, you know, I've reset my password. So let me enter the new password. And click on login. 
So I'm good to go. No, thanks. I've told you the reason just for security or for control. If the password, if not for the training, I want to show you, I would have updated it because this password is, I mean, the system itself is a control system. Nobody, uh, no other person come and use this system. There are some other, you know, security measure on it. But for the purpose of general, you know, I mean, awareness of cyber security, let me just say no thanks for now. So we're here and uh, the password has been changed. So henceforth, when I come to tonitin.com, I enter my email, it is this new password uh, that's or actually uh, is applied. Don't forget, you can do this again and again. Whenever you discover there is a security breach, you can still change your password by following the same steps. So thank you and God bless.